broken windows, but curious about macOS? Whether it's for fun, the feel, or just to impress your friends, I've got you covered. Stick around as I show you how to bring the Mac experience to your PC in just a few simple steps. Let's dive in. All you need for this entire customization is just this zip file and I'm going to be leaving the link to this zip file in the description. We're going to extract this one. I light on it. Click on extract all. Select extract. Open this macOS themes folder. So the first one we're going to do right here is the macOS doc. Double click to open it. Now I'm going to extract this my doc finder zip. So right click on it. I'm going to use win right here to extract right here. Here's the container folder. Just copy this folder. And now I'm going to navigate to a local disk. Paste it right here. Open up the my doc finder. Scroll down a little bit. Now double click on doc64.exe. Double click on that. Now we have this cool looking macOS doc at the bottom right here. And of course, we have this top bar. I'm going to make some changes. I'm just going to minimize this. As we can see right here, we have these question marks, which we can easily get rid of by right clicking on it. Select remove from doc. Now you're going to do this to any of these icons that you don't need from here. Uh, remove from doc. Remove from doc. Let me review the icons on my desktop. Okay, just in case you want to add any of the icons on your desktop to this, all you have to do is to drag this particular icon into the dock. Okay, just drag it and drop it. Now, this icon is going to remain here for easy access. You can do that to any of the apps you want to include in the dock. I'm going to hide this ones. Go onto this vertical line, right click on it, select preferences. Under general, I'm going to scroll down a bit. Right here, start on boot method. Click on this icon, select start as a service. Click on that. So by doing that, the My Doc Finder launches automatically every time you restart your computer. Now, if you go down here to the stage manager, click on that and scroll down a bit. You're going to see open stage manager. You want to toggle this on, enable it. Now, if you look on the left side here, you can see the apps that are running currently. This makes it easy to access any openings. Now, if I click on this to launch it, you can see how easy that is. And I can go back to the previous folder easily. I'm going to minimize this and go back to the settings. And if you want this to be on the right side, you can actually change it right here. Click on right. Now it's on the right side, but I want it to be on the left side. So I'm just going to change it back. Click on left. Beautiful. Now close the settings. If you go right to the top left, we have this important settings right here uh, about this PC. We have task manager, uh, sleep, restart, shutdown. If you go to the right side here, this is where we have your uh, battery display sounds, of course. And here, so you have your info about your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot and everything. Display music player right here. For this stage manager, you can actually disable it or enable it right here by clicking on it. And that is it about that. The next thing we're going to do is to change the wallpaper. Proceed to the folder. Navigate to macOS themes. Proceed to the wallpapers folder. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to use this wallpaper. Just highlight on it. Right click on it and select set as desktop background. Click on that. Minimize it. And now, as you can see, we have a brand new wallpaper. And of course, you can use any wallpaper of your choice. On to the next one, we're going to add on back again. This time, we're going to install Remeter. Go on to this folder. Now, double click on Remeter.exe file. Click on OK. Next, install it. Yes. And select Finish. Now we have these default themes. I'm going to remove these. Right click on it, unload it. Right click on it, unload skin, right click, unload skin, and unload skin. Okay. After installing Remeter, we're going to go about installing the Remeter skin. Head on back to the folder. Double click on this RM skin right here. Select install. Now, after installation, it looks like there's nothing happening actually. So we're going to add on to the Remeter settings. And if you go right here, this is where we have the system tray. Let's go ahead and click on this Remeter. Here's the RM skin we just installed. Expand it. Out of these two options, I'm going to go for the dark one, click on that and select load. Go on to position, change this to on desktop. Click on that. Minimize this. Here is a clock skin right here. I'm going to drag it down. 
position it nicely. Now everything is looking good but we're not done yet. We're going to the next one right here. This whole setup is incomplete without a Mac OS cursor. So that is exactly what we're going to do right now. I'm going to head on back to the folder. Proceed to this Mac OS cursor folder. Double click on that. Highlight on this install.inf. Right click on it and select install. Now we're going to search for the mouse settings. You can easily tap on the Windows key on your computer or you can click on this icon right here to get your search. Okay, so now I'm going to search for mouse settings. Here we have it. Click on that. Scroll down here and go to additional mouse settings. Go on to pointers. And here we're going to expand these. So these are all the cursors that are currently installed in this computer. Okay. So you're going to search for the one we just installed, which in this case is the Mac OS new. Select that one, click on apply. In case you get any info like this, just click on yes. Now, as you can see, we have this brand new Mac OS cursor, which is looking pretty cool. And if you want to get rid of this cursor, it's very easy. Just go right here and click on delete. Okay. Delete it then go on to browse. Now here are the folders of all the cursors. You're going to look for it right here. So you're going to delete this folder as well. And after doing that, you can just X on these and change to any other cursor of your choice. Okay. So that's all about that. Click on OK to finish it. So how do you uninstall this? First of all, I'm going to show you how to uninstall the My Doc Finder. Right click on here, go on to preferences. On the general, you want to scroll down a bit. Now you're going to change this from start as a service to don't start on boot. Click on that. Select yes. So after doing that, you can X on this. Go right here, right click again and quit. Okay. Restart your computer. Now you're going to proceed back to your local disk folder. Then delete this My Doc Finder. Okay. Go on to Windows C and delete My Doc Finder. That is all you have to do to get rid of the My Doc Finder. So in order to get rid of this, you have to uninstall Remeter. You can go right here, proceed to your system settings, go on to apps, select installed apps, then search for Rainmeter. I'm going to click on this three dot, click on uninstall, then uninstall it right here. Check on this option to remove all the themes, add-ons and whatnot. Proceed to uninstall it because I don't want to uninstall it now. I'm going to X on this. So that's going to be all for now, guys. If you like what I'm doing here, support me by subscribing to this channel and also leave the video a like. Share your thoughts at the comment section. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out.